and we're back already with another video. Today I thought we'd have some fun, so I went ahead and picked up this bad boy. This is the Sony 12 to 24 millimeter, so really wide. I've already got a few ideas of spots. I'd like to try this lens out, and then we'll see what we stumble upon along the way. So yeah, I guess this is gonna be a dual purpose video. Entertainment with us trying to get some cool shots as usual. And if you are curious about this lens, is it sharp, does it have some distortions, is it good in low light, all that kind of stuff, then you'll be able to see it firsthand. Anyway, that's enough talking, let's get to it. All right, this is actually my first time shooting with such a wide lens. I think my widest until now was 16 millimeter. So I guess as usual, I'll have to take a number of shots until I hopefully get some good ones. Yeah. Other than that, I've got to say, this is still a pretty compact lens. It's also pretty light. I think it's maybe even lighter than my 16 to 35. So I don't know. Handling it is pretty okay. I, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. I like it so far. Let's go. So we're going to go across the street. This is a pretty famous spot. The entrance of a shopping mall and as you can see probably uh, it's made of mirrors oriented in all kind of directions so yeah it looks pretty dope I think it's one of the perfect places to try this lens and have some good fun let's go all right so let's try a few other shots maybe one from the front oops yeah something like this the big ugly sign in front of it so maybe not this I think from this angle it's gonna look Dope, dope, dope. Oh yeah, lovely. All right, that's one. I can take a shot of myself, yeah. Hey, it's me. All right, anyway, let's shoot it from here. Yeah, man, look, this is epic. This is exactly the kind of place this lens is gonna shine. I think I'll try from this side as well, like this. Oh yes, this is great. Something like this is good. Maybe here is dope as well though. Yeah, loving this. Maybe one like this would be excellent. I think so. Yeah. Oh, well, check this out. Some cute kids. All right. Definitely getting this. Oh, that's really nice. All right, see you guys. Yeah, this place looks sick as well. I've never been here before, actually. I mean, I've, I've seen this building, but I've never come this close. This is definitely one you can't get unless you have such a white lens, so yeah. Let's try to take a few shots. I saw it's way too high. We're just a bit late, the light is disappearing slowly, but maybe we can still get something nice. Yeah. Something from here would look good as well. I don't know if you can see, I'll try to show you. You can see building's reflection here on this bit here. That looks pretty dope. So, oh yes, that's so great. <clears throat> well, I said at this point, maybe we just stop and take a few shots of the tower. I didn't really come for it, but it's right in front of us now, so might as well do it, right? Yeah, Tokyo Tower is definitely one of the subjects that's hard to fit all in the frame with 16 millimeters. Oh god, it fits. It fits like perfect. Oh, it's like distorted as well. It's kind of fun. Wow, okay, let's see if we can find another angle. Wow, 
you're wondering how wide this is this is how wide it is it is really really wide oh that's <laughs> that's fun wonder if we look real up what we can see oh wow <laughs> okay that's really wide jesus okay this is so cool uh, the backlight's really harsh but yeah okay got a few close-up tower shots wasn't really planned but whatever let's go to the next stop all right so i've shot this place before it does fit in 16 millimeters but i wonder what it would look like at 12 and yeah the architecture is so dope anyway i figured let's put it in the video all right so oh yeah 12 is much better so much more room to we can even do a top down like that yeah see it's very niche but 12 is absolutely dope for what it's good for Let's see if we can do something like this oh my god one more escalator short because it looks so dope Let's try, let's try some now. Oh, that's actually dope as well. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, this is great. Wait, I've just got like one small suspicion. I'm just thinking this might look so great. Let's see. What do we say? Do we say yes? Do we say no? Okay, we had our fun. Let's get back to my ride. That's kind of dope. Oh, there's a. I miss the woman. Dang. Oh, I can still get her when she comes here. Yeah, something like this is nice as well. Ooh, me likey. This is absolutely dope. Wow, yeah, that's perfect. If we sit down. <laughs> Let's put the focus down and do this. Wow, this is really interesting. I'm really liking the architecture with the screens over there. Let's see if we can get something nice. Oh yes. I think I'm happy with this. I thought she had a baby, she had dogs. Yeah. Why not? Okay. All right, it's getting dark now, so we're going to be able to see how the lens behaves at night. Pretty sure it's going to do well, I don't know. Let's see. This building is nice with pink at the top. I just want this taxi to get out of the way. Actually, maybe you look nice. Yay, boom. You can get some stuff you couldn't get really like this. This is actually pretty nice, I think. 
Let's wait for a nice looking car. Okay. All right, this could look sick as well. It does. It's like... All right, this looks just... Wow. This lens is next level, wow. Like, I don't know if I'd use it all the time, but when you use it, you'd get some sick shots. All right. Check this out. Just found this reflection. Woo. If someone could walk through this, that'd be so, so sick. I will wait a minute. I will. People are coming, see? Always wait a minute. Wow, this is so dope. Maybe I can zoom in just a bit for these 14, 12. Okay, got a few shots. All right, so I always wanted to come to this place, but I knew it wouldn't fit within 16 millimeters. So today we're here. Oh yes, Jesus Christ, this is so dope. Okay, let's go because I'm in the middle of the road. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. It's funny how big it makes it look as well because I was expecting this place to be humongous and actually, well, it is big, but it's much smaller than I thought it would be. But the lens makes it look like it's super, super huge. Oh, nice. I thought I wanted to make a long exposure of that, but I need to be like right in the middle of the road there for way too long and it's kind of dangerous and there's a police box right here the guy would immediately come out and tell me to stop anyway so I guess I'll just leave it at that all right so I was on my way back home and I thought all right let's make one last stop because I wanted to try to take this I was wondering if it would fit I think it will oh yeah man this is looking absolutely sick I don't know how oh I was gonna be run over. I don't know how it's gonna look in Lightroom, but what I see on the screen right now looks so dope. All right, sorry. The people with the umbrellas. Whew. This is some next level stuff, man. Wow, well, we got a yellow cab. This is sick. Try maybe one pano. And then, then I'd go home for real. Or at least that's what I say. I will see. Wow. This is nice. All right, I hope you had some fun shooting some ultra ride photos with me today. And if you are wondering about this lens, hopefully you got a pretty decent insight of what it's like. I'm actually filming on it right now at 12 millimeters. And as far as I can tell, I don't think my, well, actually I can't really tell because my camera doesn't have the flippy screen. But yeah, I don't think my face is all distorted. I think despite of it being night with some decent lighting, it's very okay. I found it light and portable, very easy to use. You just gotta mind the distortions and it looks like the colors out of this lens are amazing. So yeah, anyway guys, this is my 10th video. I've been posting since I started this channel a good two months ago. So I wanna say thank you to all of you who are always watching my videos, maybe sometimes, maybe until the very end. Thank you so much. Please look forward to more videos like these and I'll try to improve them again and again as I go until they get better and better. But in the meantime, please give this video a big like so that more people can discover it. Definitely subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.